What's going on my fellow collectors? Back again, back again for another video guys. Um, today I just wanted to talk about the Predators, the latest Predators from Hot Toys. Um, things I like to see, changes and everything being made with these Predator figures. And you know, just small little dislikes and likes about these Predator figures. Again, these are the latest style with the new body style that Hot Toys has made ever since the, um, you know, the Super Predators that they came out with. And these were the next in line type bodies, more of that classic type Predator style body, which is right in front. As you can see, the classic Predator from the uh, Predators movie. And it's a great, great figure, guys. I can't stress that enough. Um, very, very pleased with it. Uh, there's was there was cer certain things that I wish they would have did differently, um, but besides that, he came with a lot of goodies, a lot of goodies, guys, and um, it just lets you know sometimes Hot Toys pricing is just screwed up, and they price only on like popularity and stuff like that instead of like what's fair to the collector, you know, and um, you know it just pisses me off at times. And it makes you kind of sad being a collector because, you know, you put your hard-earned cash into these 1-6 figures. But I don't want to go into a rant video. I just wanted to talk a few things about these Predators and, you know, and, and then wrap it up. Don't want to have a drawn-out video. But, uh, yeah, as you can see in the back, we have the Shadow Predator. They call him Snake. Then we got a Classic Predator in the front right here. Um, then on the other side, let me turn this thing around gently because I do not want this thing to fall like dominoes. Then we got the Predator 2 City Hunter. This guy went to the city and did his hunting. You know what I mean? That's just straight balls on the Predator. <laughs> Forget the woods. I'm taking it right into their neck of the woods, into the city. So, you know, he he's a, a great hunter all on its own to be doing some shit like that. But, um, yeah, so, um, these Predators, I, I like the new body styles, I'm, I, I'm very feeling them, like, I, I actually showed you guys in my other video, you know, you can get awesome posability, even though they took away certain, you know, things, which was the articulation in the ab area, um, you know, and they changed the actual articulation in the arms, instead of it being on a hinge joint, now they're actually... On a, they're still on the hinge joint, but now it's uh, pushed up into the bicep area. So, you know, it's kind of completely different compared to the uh, older Predators. Um, this guy right here, since we have it, we, you know, you see I actually have a custom mask. Thanks to a good friend of mine, Marlo, looked out for a brother. Um... And I actually painted this thing, and this is my own paint skills right here. I'm not a painter at all, but I think it's pretty good. Standing next to these masks, as you can see. You know. I definitely dig it. But, um, yeah, so, you know, the body styles are good. Paint applications are good. Definitely like paint applications going on with these guys. I love the textured skin and everything. Um, you know, as you can see, they have that texture rough type, uh, you know, lumpy type skin, which is pretty good. So definitely, I mean, as far as in the bodies, I would say that they're good where they're at. They maybe can kind of make one, you know, a, a more of a bigger or taller type style body that's still in this type of range, you know, with design and everything. Um, you know, just to give a few characters uh, different height advantages on each other um, because all these guys basically are pretty much the same height. As you can see, they might be just a slight bit shorter because of the way they're posed. Um... These guys are both barefooted in the back. He has the sandals, the only guy with the sandals on. So, um, you know, but they all got big ass feet, as you can see. <laughs> I think Predator 1, well, Classic Predator has the biggest of them all, though. Uh, 
the you know the shin guards are designed pretty well as you can see uh, same type scope so basically what I would like to see new from Hot Toys is I would like to see metal armor I mean I would love to see this all being metal you know and um, I don't want to you know what I, I think they should be done with this classic thing I guess they might bring them back out but if they do Give us metal. I mean, they promised a while back when they first announced Predator 2. They said they were going to do start doing Predator with metal armor. And they never did that yet. So um, I'm waiting for that. And I don't think they should have to raise the price for, for metal armor. I mean, um, you know, DID did it a long time ago with full armored metal samurais. So um, I don't see why them as a company should be able to do that. You know, they should be able to do something like that, you know, especially they're big time, you know. But, uh, like I was thinking, price differences, like this guy retail right here for about 200 and he comes with so much stuff, LED lights everywhere, but then you get the Predator 2, and he retail for like 210 Like, come on, you don't even get as much stuff. He should have at least been about 175 160 but, you know, that's Hot Toys with their price. So I would like to see better pricing with these Predators. Um, wired Dreadlocks, what I think would be a definite welcome to these figures. Um, to be able to give, you know, more of a dramatic look when you're posing them. You know, especially if you're turning the head. Because I know in the movies, you know, when the Predators turn their head... You saw like the dreads flowing as they turned their head. Um, and a must give us real metal type dread jewelry. I mean, you know, this is nice, but it's gonna fade away eventually. It seemed like it just fades away, like over here with this guy, and then over here, you know, it's real metal would be perfect if they could put metal on the dreads. But I think these little extras that I'm naming for these dreads are very, very minor. It shouldn't bring cost up. I mean, you know, I don't see why. But, um, you know, let's hope for the future of the Predators, especially the new Scar coming out. You know, uh, hope that they make it metal. Um, real quick. As you can see right here, they clearly had brown right there. Maybe because the whole forearm is brown, you know. So I would have liked to seen them to do, you know, more of a painted, different painted effect in the back of this elbow right here. You can't really see it right now. But in my old other video, um, you know, I talk about how they should have painted the back. So that would have been, you know, better. So I would like to see better quality on the Predators, you know, from the quality that they are right now. But just better improved. That would be very, very nice. But, uh, yeah, you got to love this LED light right here. Let's see if I can turn that bad boy on real quick. Yeah, that's just banging. You can barely see it, though. Lights up better when the lights are out. So, But, uh, yeah, guys, real quick video on the latest Predators in the collection. I am waiting for the scar. So, can't wait for that guy to come. And just to give you... A real quick view of height comparison. Here's a standard Hot Toys 12 inch figure. And I like the height of these guys. They definitely hold true to, you know, being, you know, towering over your average, well, not your average, but your, you know, tall male human character. So definitely I like the height, you know, um, of the figure. So that's definitely cool that, you know, they kind of keep that you know, scale right with, you know, the regular human type figures. So, but besides that, uh, guys, just wanted to share this video with you guys out there in the collecting world. Um, very happy that the Predator collection has grown. Definitely stay tuned. I'm going to do a full, uh, you know, Predator collection update video on the Ultimate Collectors. So check that out coming soon with all my Predators so far up to date. Um, it's going to be a blast. Okay, Muggy215. Muggy215. And I'm signing out. Peace.